week. My name is Ellen, and this week I am reviewing something which came into the shop mere hours ago. A 1973 Harmony Rebel in avocado green. Avocado green, just like my avocados. But Harmony is from Chicago, and many other attractive things on this show are from Chicago. <laughs> Six strings and frets and tuning keys, so I'm inclined to say that it is a guitar. It's very pointy. You can use it to spear stakes or your enemies. If you romanticize the notions of sliders and faders, like I do, this will satisfy your, your need to slide stuff around on an instrument you actually know how to play. These sliders say, high treble, high treble. What? And then these ones say, low volume bass tone, low volume bass tone. What the heck? Oh, I see. High, low, treble bass. They're just volume and tone knobs, but as sliders. Well, why did I go through all the trouble with all these things? Let's start with the bridge pickup. Nice and snappy. Back off on the tone knob a little bit. It muddies it up entirely, and you should not do it. Now we're going to switch to the neck pickup. A little fuzzier, but it's still pretty distinct. I can hear a lot of definition from string to string. It still has a brightness to it, which I really appreciate. And I'm sure this tone knob is going to get rid of some of that brightness if you want it to be more like... Oh yeah, there we go. Now here's what it is with both of the pickups. I don't know, you kind of lose some of the, uh, the character of both of them when you use them both together. Um, impersonating contest, but that's not why you get a guitar like this. You know, you get it because it looks cool, and it sounds good, and it's versatile, and it's not broken. Also, look at this green! It's so nice! It's like the color of grass! For being pretty and useful, like me, <laughs> I give it four and a half out of five Ellens. Now, I've inducted a half Ellen, and I haven't decided why yet. Here at Fanny's House Music, we also sell vintage clothing. Because this is green, I went through and I looked at all the green stuff in the shop today. This is a green plaid Jansen skirt. It is a size 10, which is at least twice my size, but that hasn't stopped me in the past from putting something on, so here we go. How do you get in it? It's, it's, a, it's a tube. Do you, you put it on over your head, or do you get into it? You put it on... From the bottom. Yeah, exactly. So over my head? Might be kind of funny. It's very thick. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Never right mind, there. it's not a tube. <laughs> I thought it was a tube, but it's not a tube. Okay, so when you get into your skirt, first get your arms out of it. Bend your head. It's like a it's like a trippy straight jacket. Man, for something that's allegedly five sizes too big for me, I sure don't feel like I'm getting in or out of it right. You'd think it'd be easier to well, what the Okay, what? <laughs> I've got... My boobs are in the pockets. Okay. I, I think i got to step into step it. Step into it. Well, can you just pull this sure. over my head? So. Oh, never mind, I got it. We're going to get into it from the top this time. It is only wide enough for one of my legs. You're too big for it. It's a size 10. Well... I'm like a, like a 2. Obviously, you're not a 10 from the 70s. Obviously, I'm not a 10 from the 70s. I feel like... Perfect. I think it says skirt, and it's supposed to say tablecloth. <laughs> it's easy to mix up those words. If you just mix up a few of the letters, you know, uh, it's hard. Spelling is hard, okay? Life is hard. Spelling and life are hard. This has been a total disaster, as usual. Thank you for watching Ellen's Favorite Thing at Fannies of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing.